What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Pretty big house update. We have flooring guys up the top. We have stairs. The view is actually so nice. So if you don't know me, my name is Steven or Stevie VB and this is my 2011 Subaru WX that I've just ticked over a year of ownership with. So this is how my car is looking now. If you want to see what it looked like when I first bought it, here is a picture right on the screen. And yeah, this is how she is sitting now. I'll just give you guys a quick little overview of the car. Quick little walk around. So yeah, we've done a little bit cosmetically to her. So she does look very different to when I first bought it. I haven't done too much performance, but I am looking to hopefully get into that into the near future. I'm just going to tell you guys the mods I've done to it so far, what it's like, if I've had any problems with it, just to give you guys a idea. If you're looking to buy one, you probably are if you clicked on this video. Hopefully this video helps you guys out and helps you decide if you want one or not. So first, let's just quickly ignore how dirty my car is. I drove it quite a long distance and I haven't gotten to clean it yet. So yeah, just ignore that. All right, so cosmetically, what I've done to the car since I've bought it, we have added some new headlights. We have added a full lip kit, which is front lip, side skirts, and rear pods. I have also added custom number plates and some vinyl overlay badges for the front, rear, and steering wheel. I have also since added some new rims and got some new tires and have put on some side badges. I have added some rain guards and a rear roof spoiler. I have also added this replica STI wing and have gotten some new tower lights. And inside the car, I've added a dash mat and a new Mishimoto shift knob. So that's pretty much what I've done to my car cosmetic wise. I've also added a short shifter. So you can kind of count that as performance, but more of like a fun thing for the car. So I've also added that. But that is pretty much all I've done for performance. But for now, I'm just really trying to enjoy the car as it is. And for those who want to know what's been done to my exhaust, if you haven't heard it, here's a clip right now. Um, pretty much it sounds like it has a proper exhaust on it, but I actually found out after a while that its resonator has been deleted and I think they've put on some like aftermarket mufflers on the rear. So it's nothing special. It doesn't sound too bad. I'm looking to get a proper exhaust because these tips are pretty small. <laughs> and I really want some big tips because it would make the back of the car look a lot more aggressive. I know you might think that I haven't modded it that much for owning it for a year, but I'm only 19. I bought the car when I was 18 and haven't been working much in the past year. So it did take me a while to buy most of my parts, but it's been fine. I didn't really need a rush and it's been, you know, fun to slowly mod it and just enjoy the car as it goes. I also did buy some fog light covers for my bumper, but I found out my front bumper is actually a different shade of white to the rest of my car and they unfortunately don't match. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I have to figure out what I'm going to do, but you can, you can literally tell right here, this, this paint on my fender, my hood, the whole rest of the car is completely different to my white here. Definitely wanted to get some fog light covers on because I think it makes the car look a lot cleaner. So that is pretty much all the mods I've done to my car in a year. Now you guys are probably wanting to hear about maintenance and if I've had any problems, stuff like that. Okay, so since owning this car, I have serviced it twice. The first one was $400. I think I did a basic engine oil change, some fluid changes, and I got some air filters changed, I think. Got that done. And then I found out it needed a timing belt change, which was really annoying. I probably could have lasted it out a bit longer. I think the recommended is 125,000 kilometers or seven years after your car was made. So mine had hit the age gap, not the actual kilometers gap. So I had to get it done. I probably could have stretched it out, but I wanted to be safe and I wanted to get it done as soon as I could. So unfortunately, you know, that is a big uh, purchase. And as they were doing that to my car, they called me up and they told me that my radiator also needed doing because it was on his last legs. It's always good to have your radiator working to its full capacity, not when it's about to die, because coolant could go everywhere, your car could overheat, and that could lead to more problems. So I said, yes, do it now, while most of the car, the parts have been taken out, so it didn't cost me extra labor, which was awesome. So I got that done, radiator, timing belt, full service, major service. That costed me 
$1,900 AUD. Yeah, that was a bit expensive. So, so far I've spent a little bit over two grand for maintenance in a year, which actually is pretty good. So seeing I bought a stock one, there wasn't too much maintenance I had to do other than the timing belt and radiator. Everything else has been pretty good. My clutch has been fine. Hopefully I don't have to replace that for a while, but my best advice is to buy a stock one Go for it if it's a modded one and you, you like that, you like that sort of stuff and just buying it already done, I reckon that's that's totally fine. Just make sure it has proof of being well taken care of. I think I haven't had to do too much maintenance because I do take good care of my car, I don't thrash it. I do sort of baby it. I just don't want anything to go wrong so I'm always a bit scared that something will if I do thrash it. I bought my car with 98,000 kilometers on it and I now have 113,000 so I've done around 15,000 kilometers in the past year which actually isn't too bad mainly it would be a lot lower if I didn't do these long distance trips. Subarus definitely get a lot of hate with reliability but if you treat them well and find a good one it actually can be pretty reliable. I've driven this thing on many road trips 400 k's down 400 k's back and I haven't had a problem. I've done that multiple times. I did it recently the other day. That is why I have lots of bugs on my car, but she's treated me very well. And I am actually super happy with my car and how I've modeled it. And I continue to believe that I will have it for a while, maybe a few more years at least. There's still a lot more things I want to do to it. In a couple of years, I could be watching this back and it could look completely different. I could have a completely different car. Who knows? So guys, that's my little overview of what it's like to own a WX for a year. I've had so much fun with it. I've met so many cool people with it. The Subaru community is awesome. There's so many nice people and I've made so many friends and I just love the way this generation looks, but this is probably my favorite. So I recommend getting one of these because the wide fenders, where's my finger? There it is. <laughs> but I hope this video helped you guys out. If you do have any more questions, do not hesitate to comment on this video or message me on Instagram. My Instagram is right here because I always reply to people. I never ignore people because I, I don't like when that happens to me. And I always want to be able to answer questions and help you guys out. So feel free to message me and ask anything you want. I'll be happy to answer it. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. Don't forget to hit the post notifications button, the little bell next to the subscribe button. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day or night. Thank you so much for watching once again. We're so close to 500 subscribers. We'll hit it soon. You guys are the best. Peace.